Welcome to this course on hard surface modeling inside of ZBrush. Now in this course what I wanted to achieve was the total hard surface modeling approach done completely inside of ZBrush. So whereas before I was modeling using other applications for hard surface and bringing some of the components into ZBrush, I wanted to tackle actually creating a hard surface model completely inside of ZBrush, which I have achieved here. So we're going to be looking at a multitude of techniques to get these nice clean surfaces um, over many subtools. It's a very detailed complex model, as you can see. And we're also going to look at tons of different features such as using curved brushes, using arrays. We're going to be looking at poly groups and poly looping. We're going to look at creating clean topology from dynameshed concept sculpts. I'm going to be showing you how to accurately position curves on surfaces refining and hardening edges such as over here creating the panels themselves with the topology so this whole course is all geared towards hard surface models so at the end of this course you should have the ability to be able to create any hard surface object at all whether it be a car a bus truck motorbike tank gun anything you like you can create it with nice clean topology all the way so Again, this course uses lots of things. We tackle new features such as the Boolean meshes inside of a ZBrush and how we can convert those to U meshes to be used. And finally, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be rendering this out straight from ZBrush. And then we're going to render, we're going to use a more advanced technique and we're going to render passes out and take those passes and composite them inside of Photoshop. So I'm giving you both approaches. If you haven't got Photoshop, you can always render it out using ZBrush directly, or if you've got any sort of compositing package, then you can put those renders together using the same techniques I use for Photoshop and have an even better render where you have control over everything now along the way as well we're going to look at uvs i'm not going to get much into uvs but i'm going to show you a few different methods for creating the tire treads which is one of the more technical aspects of this site we're also going to be creating this chain as well and we use a curve brush to do that multi and multi multi mesh insert brushes for lots of the components we've all, we've created a little kit bash kit so I'll show you how to set that up inside of your light box so you've got the ability to pick and choose some of these kit bash parts plus the tools as well so we've got tools in here that we've used during this project so that we can bring them in as well and you can reuse those for other projects so it's not just the case that you use them on a motorbike, you might use them on something else as well. So you can build up your kit bash library. I'll also be showing you how to customize and create materials along the way as well. So there's a ton of stuff, too much to go into. It just covers everything. So if you love this model and you think, yeah, that looks really great. I'd love to create something like that. Then I go into an amazing amount of detail on it. There is over a hundred lectures and over a hundred videos, in fact, to be precise as 104 videos with this not including the download and promotional content so you'll have access to this file plus all of my kit bash library that I've created specifically for this course and you'll be able to use those as well in your projects so enjoy the course it's um it's a bit of a monster course to get into and uh, we'll be producing this and let me just show you the final version here is the final version of the bike, um, minus the material, which I can load in here, blue energy material, open. There is our blue energy material in there. And this bike is basically um, a made up bike. So it's kind of a nuclear clean energy powered bike. Um, and it, that's why it's got this unusual engine. Now, if I explode the parts, you'll see all of the parts in there situ. And this is the model broken up for you to view. 
so you can see there's a lot of components there and yeah it's pretty involved so you're gonna love this course um, you know I cover the texturing in it and uh, output I show you how to set your lights up properly as well in the scene and uh, a ton of other stuff as well so it's a really in-depth course and if you want to do anything like this and you think this looks great then take this course like I said I do cover a lot and also remember to actually join the Facebook group that goes with this because then any problems that you have along the way me or other students can answer those questions for you and also you can showcase your work to show me what you've been doing and I can give critiques on it on help you out every step of the way so I want full support with this co this course and I want to be able to interact with you guys as well to give you the best possible learning experience as far as hard surface modeling in ZBrush is concerned.